Check low, relax yourself and let the sugar low Yo, down. It's raining allergy, I'm floating through the Highland Channel swerving. I'm digging on the Sheba, pulling Sheba, she be splurging. We look I'm, I'm really feeling that intro. I don't know about you guys, but I like it. My other one was kind of cheesy looking, so I don't know. It was, it was whatever. But uh, here we go with Team Deathmatch. Uh, episode three. I'll say I'll post this one third. So this will be episode three of Superior by Default, my excellent, excellent series where I use default classes only, and uh, see how good of a score I can use. I use them to the to like the full potential crack this tack insert back here and basically when you have a tack insert there's a this is a perfect map for it um just crack it somewhere uh kind of in the in the back area like behind where you're going to be hiding or not really hiding but posting up because i'm definitely going to be camping during this most of the time because it's it's a scout sniper uh if you didn't know what a scout sniper was they're a real life camper all right <laughs> so they named this class Scout Sniper pretty appropriately because it's built for camping, camping hard. And, um, there you go, get that guy. The thing that sucks about this class is it doesn't have stopping power, which is really a pain in the ass. Which would have really made this class nice is if they put stopping power and... For blue perk, they really didn't need the... The FMJ. I can see them keeping the heartbeat on there. That's cool if you want to do it. Because it makes sense for a scout sniper. I understand that. But, um... The secondary, the USP silence. That's... That's whatever. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Um... It would have been nice if it was like a USP FMJ. But I understand the silence part because you're supposed to be stealthy and everything. Because... But, um... I don't... But also, you have Scrambler. So you don't really need a silencer. Because Scrambler is a silencer for... Is a silencer, pretty much. So, um... Anyways, <clears throat> this class, they could have lost the FMJ. It does nothing for you. Um, I mean, if you're going to shoot someone two times to kill them, you can shoot them two times to a wall and kill them either way without time power. But um, there's this guy hiding in the little bunker. Uh, we call that small bunker. The one to my left is called big bunker. That's our call out to me and my friends. We call that a lot of people call it like that. I tried charging them. It's a mistake using the uh, and trying to do that with this pistol. I definitely get macked on, foo. Yeah, but uh, with this pistol, it's it's not really a confrontational pistol if that makes sense to you. And I apologize that you guys had to watch that. I'm not proud of it. I might put a clip of me doing some sh crazy shit with my sniper just so you guys don't think like, wow, this kid's a noob. But uh. Yeah, because I, I'm not bad at sniping, don't worry. It's just, this, it's a, this class is definitely a different experience, you know? It's a lot different than anything else I use. Trying to get, um, away for the wall bang. Bam! Yeah, I know. Almost montage worthy, right? Yeah, but, um, my fruit booter's saying he needs help, so, um, come to the rescue. They call me Captain Save a Ho around here. So, uh, yeah, don't worry, fruit booter, I got you. And this guy's looking all right. I got lucky with that headshot too, but um that guy's at the top of the the cliff. The um we call it the sniper's perch. That's a call out for me and my friends. Um and oh a triple kill? What? I never even saw that. Oh wow. That's like actually the uh, I never noticed. I always thought I got a double right there, but I guess I got a triple. I get something crazy in every single one of these games, I swear. I got a quad harrier in my first one, in Grenader. I got a quad, um, pred missile in Overwatch, and then this one I got a triple predator. Isn't the craziest, but it's cool. But like I was saying, there's that riot shield guy out there who's hella funny. He just keeps jumping off shooting rockets at me, and he's never gonna get me, but, um... When you hear that sound, that javelin sound that you just heard, you that means dip. It means dippity dip because it's coming down. And if he's... Oh, I saved my boy again. Got the hit mark on him and finish him off with the pistola. Um, I'm just doing work around this whole... Um, around my area. This is my area. I locked it down. I got the tack insert. So if they do flush me out of here, if they kill me, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back with vengeance. They're going to call me the Punisher. But, uh, yeah, that guy's shooting the javelins. He's looking directly at me, so I know there's nowhere else he's going to be shooting those but at me. I mean, he sees me on the map, and I'm shooting like a mofo over here. 
But whatever. I think this this class would have been really cool if they made a stopping power and then put a silencer on it instead. Just because it'd be a uh, it'd be more fun. Um. Maybe like a. Yeah, I guess they could keep the bling on. I mean, it's a hard scoping class. You're not trying to quick scope with this thing, anyways. But whatever. Um, the scrambler actually. I've never seen scrambler actually work for me. It works, as you'll see later on in this game. I'll I'll point it out to you guys. Don't worry. I can only be hanging. But um, they they start coming around this area and they're kind of going and walking in circles looking for me. I'm kind of just chilling in the grass and um watching out for them. And um, yeah. Just staying in my little area, this is my area, holding it down, making sure these guys on the cliff get what they deserve. And I'm really bad at hardscoping, if you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell. Well, that's my cue to leave. Yep, and then go right back to it. <clears throat> and I hear this guy down here, take him out with the USB. This thing takes like 15 bullets to kill someone, it's ridiculous. Woo, nothing but head. That's just gonna be getting head like a sniper. This guy got me with the same class. He took me out with the with the default scout sniper. So congratulations to you, whoever just killed me. That was uh I think it's pretty funny. Um hit mark with that guy, then I start getting shot up from the side. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna utilize this class to its full potential. Throw the smoke grenade. Now they're confused. There's a smoke grenade up, I can got him scrambler scrambled I have cold blooded they have no idea what's going on they won't see me even if they do come close to me see this guy he's all walking around trying to look for me because he's getting scrambled as hell right now take him out <clears throat> what I'm doing is not actually a good idea don't I'm saying too close to my tactical insertion you never want to oh he got me I didn't know that you never want to stay close to your tactical insertion and if you de <laughs> and me and my friend were playing yesterday at this ant and he said he saw someone and um the person knew that this ant saw him. So, and the guy had a tactical insertion gun. So right before this ant killed him, he said the guy picked up his tactical insertion really fast. So, so he didn't have the chance to respawn and get killed. Later on in this game, you'll see it happens to me. But um, to avoid that, stay away from your attack insert because if they find you, they're finding your insert. So that means they're getting two kills off one. So, you know, keep it a little bit further away from you in the back of the map where no one's gonna see it. Where no one ever walks. Keep it where no one walks. Right here, I hear the javelin come off, so what am I going to do? I stay away. He's just a predictable player. You got to you gotta mix it up when you play. You know, don't be predictable. Never be predictable. That's why you'll see me do stuff. When I run different routes and I run in circles and stuff, I'm just trying to confuse enemies. When I shoot, when, like, when I shoot, I usually run away to a point where I can see where I just shot from because there's a likely chance someone's going to be gunning for that area. So... I kind of defend myself right here. Like I said, predictability. He thinks I'm still in there. Unfortunately, I still have to get taken out by this guy. He blind fires me to death. Almost got away from that thing. And here's just a bad situation right here. Um, They're all in my spawn. If I had the silence Barrett, I would have been slapping some ass. But um, they're mobbing on me. It takes like 15 shots to kill that guy. I should not be saying my tag insert right now. That's a mistake, like I said. See? Mistake. I tr almost make it. I almost jumped away. And, um... Just today, I found a new tactic for, um... For when you're spawning... Like, when you play a tactical insertion, and you know that when you're spawning, you're going to be facing the enemy, switch your class to a riot shield class or the riot control class that you already have from default. I would say the default classes are not that bad. You need to utilize them. Switch to that class right when you spawn. You're gonna have a fucking riot shield, and these guys are gonna be like, "Oh shit!" What you do? Throw a stun, mac their ass right here. This is what you call a clutch win, baby. Clutch win, ready? Finish this guy off. Hold on, where is he? Get him. There we go. Coming through like the first of the month, baby. Just came through, clutched the win from. I think they had three kills on us, or maybe two kills. Everyone was told to camp, camp hard, because I was not trying to lose. Because if we lost, I wouldn't be able to post this gameplay. But now I got a 24 and 7 using the Scout Sniper class. It was a really fun game for me to play. I actually might just do this for some recreational purposes. But um, yeah, check out my next one: Riot Control or First Recon. Next, peace out.